Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on a SIM as long as needed before you start using real money. Uh, we will be covering three different types of an auto trade today. Uh, this is the market analyzer, comes with the five different automated trades. Pullback re-entry, two of them, and then the 15 second on the right upper corner, one minute, and a full automated trading. At the moment on the last entry, not the whole day, the last entry signal is uh, 470, 470 ticks into the profit. We can see the uh, ES where it entered the market based on one contract 375 and it's right there uh, on the on the Nasdaq one trade 585 is right here and those are just the last entry on the YM uh, we have uh, 300 and it is 300 on the YM also the same thing uh, on the uh, market analyzer based on 15 second uh, you can take those trades on the 15 second at the moment from the last entry signal we got 455 ticks into the profit last entry only and on the scalper is a little bit uh, fast uh, chart is a base on the 15 second let me see if I have any more trades in here. I think we are done with the trading on the scalper. So now this is uh, one type of an automated trade and it comes with uh, uh, five different uh, automated trade by itself. And now we want to show the precision auto trade. On, uh, on the a precision auto trade it was a very impressive day today if you follow us on the other channel actually today the market was not moving and it was a lot of uh, volatility in there and a lot of problems in the market sideways and uh, it was a very impressive uh, where the precision auto trade is our latest auto trade it's been around for a few weeks, but uh, it's a very success, very impressive. The limitation of losing trades are not much, and that's what it's really count. So we still have one trade here on the CL, which we have covered. Uh, when you see a lot of, I'm going to close position, I close position, it is 4,360 on the CL. So when it was a volatility today on the uh, ES and NASDAQ and cannot find direction earlier today, uh, the CL was a very impressive performance. And we covered how to uh, auto trade on the other channel you very you see the link at the bottom of that video here so the CL closed on 4360 the YM had one losing trade to to win in trade and it was okay Nasdaq a small trade and then one into 2185 <clears throat> excuse me but this one here is my favorite the 10 range CL uh, not this one another one I'll show it to you but anyway this 10 range had no losing trade at all 1580 not even one losing trade today no I'm sorry there is one lo small losing trade here and and it was done at uh, 1580 one losing trade a small losing trade this is not bad at all why am 230 had one losing trade and it was done 1750 this is another CL uh, break even one trade 1500 
The CL1 minute is very impressive, 1300 on a one minute. Uh, the CL on the three minutes, 1800, no losing trade. He has nine range, 1300. And uh, this is uh, my favorite charts. Uh, the 10 second because uh, when the market today has a lot of volatility I was covering that yesterday in the, on the video here on the same channel uh, normally what happened when uh, a day like today the market is sideways you use 10 second you always can uh, find an entry and an exit and and protect your profit and uh, don't over trade so on the 10 second is always can find um, it's a small chart, uh, dive in right into the noise of the market, but in the same time, uh, that auto trade have an, an amazing uh, entry, uh, a lot of accuracy in there, and trade with the trend and reversal, and it does not require any filter. We, we, we're thinking about adding a filter, but then why we need to add a filter on it when it's working fine without filter? Also for uh, people like to be a little bit away from the noises in the market, this is a very impressive uh, chart, 2725. And what happened when this big mass here, you know, look, it was no trade. And always uh, the five minutes can find um, very good entries. And that was a very impressive the way uh, the, the this auto trade approach this market why am five minutes like an es five minutes took one trade today and get it over with and if you think the 10 second is very small also you can use the 25 second is right in between the 10 second and one minute and this one here is a very impressive we started with a losing trade break even two trades 1450 and the way uh, this auto trade has been handled in the trades is is, is a very impressive beautiful and uh, the es5 range for for range traders 1125 then we have the dax four minutes not much today 1242 and the nasdaq three minutes also it was good 1200 and the nasdaq this is a different type there is one here is a scalping and this one sorry this one here is scalping and this one here is swing trading it's the same auto trade but you can scalp it or you can swing trading and this one here is a scalping mood and this one here it is swing trade mood of course you get all the trading you need um, if you like scalping you can go with the scalping as an example on the 25 second es or if you want to scalp the ES on three minutes, you can also do the scalping. And of course, we'll give you the proper training for free. Uh, the ES three minutes. And um, um, Monday, we have a webinar. Tuesday, we teach you how to um, look at the market, auto trade. And uh, Wednesday for the new traders we keep our eye on them if they need anything uh, on Wednesday that's why I don't come live on Wednesday to look after all the new customers make sure they don't uh, make a mess with their account and uh, I'll log in normally for the new customer one time two times three times making sure that uh, he's okay and he can ask any question he gets a support one-on-one -on -one for three session and then he can be with the other traders and ask any questions he wants when we run the webinars but for the new traders always we want to make sure that uh, they get support one-on-one -on -one, three sessions and uh, on Wednesday so we always try to keep Wednesdays free for the new customers to make sure that they're not lost on me somewhere that uh, method we've been using it because we don't want to 
we want to make sure everything is okay with this guy or if he needs a little clarification or a little support on an auto trade or he's having a problem so we are here to help he can contact the support if he have a problem major problems or he can come in on the webinar and ask all kind of question on any kind of auto trade so also we have the cl 20 seconds for the ones that want to scout the cl as you see this is a scalping mood 20 second also is very good when the market is not moving and uh, i mean i'm not a big fan of a russell but for anyone out there like russell there is a few traders we have that like russell and usually i use the russell between three minutes and um, also we have a small a smaller time frame for russell if you are a russell trader now I'm not going to go through uh, all the TI7 for Ninja Trader Auto Trade. I will show a few trades from the TI7. This is the TI7 uh, uh, for Ninja Trader 8. And uh, we, we only have one chart left. It's uh, the ES uh, 2 minute. Also is the same principle as the Precision Auto Trade. All of them are on $1,000 daily target but if the market going to your direction you are going to um, stay the auto trade will stay longer as you see uh, we had some uh, chop earlier in the room uh, in the morning and then the market is start picking up after 12 o'clock today and uh, we still have one trade so what we do we're gonna just go ahead and close it and that will be 1800 because on the previous it was 600 and uh, uh, this is an 1800 on that also you can see here between 10 and 12 it was a really nasty the way the, the the Nasdaq was going but anyway we survived that one here because when you are using a bigger higher time frame you are cleaning out most of the noises so that's one now 2380 uh, the CL this is a 300 take CL did very well and um, no losing trades on this one um, even on the uh, for a tick chart trader uh, this is also you can see here in the morning we had some big mass and then the market uh, start trending in the proper direction and then we we did it and uh, this is a very good one uh, the CL 13 range also got here in trouble but when the markets start trending as you see there is a small what we use even on the 13 range we only use like 10 ticks 8 ticks that's all we don't need to use uh, I've seen some other auto trades Jesus they're using 30 and 40 ticks a stop loss this is a really dangerous game but on this one here is a really modern uh, with a, a trending stop and stop loss especially the stop loss I don't like big stop loss for days like this as you see here like as an example uh, on the YM uh, the market uh, today was really not in the best direction let's say all day long and you can see how it generate a lot of beats in there but when you have a smaller stop loss you can survive it and it nailed 1,200 to 1,265 <clears throat> this is uh, an ES 14 second uh, the reason here is 14 second because when you optimize this auto trade uh, this auto trade have uh, 10 different entries this auto trade have 10 different filter uh, that auto trade uh, there is one filter but it's not needed um, but uh, uh, it's a different animal and uh, this one here is a total different it's a much bigger auto trade with a, a huge variety of uh, filters so uh, on the optimization shows the 14 second is okay uh, the Nasdaq 520 did okay did very well no trouble uh, the ES did very well and then the ES one minute 3,335 uh, and 
for the ones they've been following me, you know me, how I feel about the one minute. The one minute is a statement. It's not rank bar it's not line break, whatever that is. Uh, it's not, um, you know, uh, it's the one minute is uh, when the auto trade works on one minute, works on anything. When the auto trade does not work on a one minute, you're just wasting time and money. And the DAX today on, on the TI7 did better than the precision automated trade. Normally, the precision auto trade do better job on the DAX. Uh, but uh, today it was the TI7. Doesn't matter as long as they are in positive, who cares? Uh, the Russell, and I, I have mentioned before the Russell, this is, uh, we have a smaller time frame for the guys that like to, I mean, 57 seconds, it's not that far from one minute. But uh, you can, uh, if you want to, you can trade on uh, 57 second or probably, by now, if you optimize it, probably you will get different read, and maybe it could be 30 seconds if you want to re-optimize it. On the YM, 115 takes, it was uh, 1265. Also here, uh, this is also the same auto trade, but it's a different entry from that one here, this one, because this auto trade has a 10 different entry, and you can, um, uh, decide how you want to approach the market. You can cut the auto trade the way you want it to trade. You don't want it to, whether you want to trade it conservative, medium, uh, aggressive, uh, you want to auto trade um, globax, you need to go on a different setting, you need to go on different entry. It's not one size of shoe, you go at 930 and then you, you go with the same setting. Uh, a Globax, and you go with the same setting in the morning when the German market open. Uh, I mean, you have to approach the market because when the Globax, the market does not move. Um, there is an entry for Globax on the B scalper. Uh, there is uh, four different scalper on the TI7. Let's say you wanna. Um, um, scalp the market when you are sleeping. Uh, you can scalp the market when you are sleeping. I don't know if you have a smaller account, you know, so it will not affect your big account. If you want to uh, auto trade and go to sleep, uh, then I strongly advise you to open a new account beside the big account, sub account, uh, put a couple thousand dollars uh, on it away from your major account in case if god forbid something happened when you're sleeping you're not gonna lose all your money you're only uh, risking the amount you have opened the sub account and it is very important because a lot of things can happen at night your microsoft is going to to restart even if you set it up uh, there is some update uh, something wrong the server goes down uh, you didn't get filled uh, overfilled, whatever it is, um, you, you cannot just go to sleep and auto trade. But if you are insisting on, let's say, going on the Globax and you want to go to sleep, you have to be very modest with that. Open a separate account to, to protect your large account. Uh, put a limited order, limited order, there is nothing wrong with it. Uh, because the market moves very slowly when uh, 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 then, you know, you get filled and maybe you will not get filled at night, but when you put it on a limited order, maybe you will get a couple of, couple of three trades, then uh, be in uh, market order and uh, generate 10 trades, which all those details, we will help you with it. And um, on the last webinar, we, we opened the webinar just for a question. And uh, the last webinar took three and a half hours, three and a half hours uh, taking uh, people's question. And I find it very good because if somebody asking a question, maybe the other guy did not know about it, then uh, we, he now knows about it. And then for the new trader, when we come on Wednesday, we give him three session one on one. I mean, we're not going to get married for life every Wednesday, you know getting a date on Wednesdays but I mean they get three session one-on-one -on -one with me 
and then I will help them. And, uh, and then uh, if they have any other questions, then they will be on the webinar and uh, uh, can ask uh, any questions they want. Uh, folks, that's all what we have for today. I say thank you very much. Um, and uh, we will see you tomorrow on the other channel live. Bye for now.